There are few issues in the last 100 years that have been so divisive. British politics is very volatile. The whole Brexit process is becoming chaotic. Voting Leave gave a hope, a certain power, to a great many. Better in than out, reform it, not leave it. They thought they could vote to leave with no cost. I'm sorry, there is a huge cost. If it wasn't for the EU, I don't think we'd have what we've got now. Support from Europe when it wasn't coming from Westminster has made an enormous difference to Scotland. The law that comes from Europe, we've had a hand in creating, and in fact, a lot of it we've actually insisted upon. Now, there cannot be a going back to that a hard border. They just cannot be. The Article 50 process is now underway. The United Kingdom is leaving the European Union. Has the government undertaken any impact assessments for different sectors? No. So the, the answer to the question is no. It was made quite clear that this was a consultative referendum, and yet the Brexit group in uh, government have treated it as mandating. Of course it can be stopped. The referendum was an advisory vote. The youth must mobilise and make their voice heard. Across the nation we'll see that young people have really played a big role. 16 year olds, they're old enough to pay tax, they're old enough to, to join up for the army and I think that they should have the right to vote on, on their future. We refuse to be silent. We will stand up for our rights. Brexit is a catastrophe. What then of us remainers? Hobbled by a fatal attraction to rational argument. People spoke on June the 23rd, 2016. Why can't they speak again? Over 16 million of us voted to remain. We are the 48%.